Right, this is grade three, module four, lesson eight, and we are officially using that standard algorithm to um, find the area of rectangles. So in this problem, it says write a multiplication sentence to find the area of each rectangle. So in this rectangle, we are told that there are six tiles six squares going up and down, and that there's eight squares or eight tiles going left and right. And so we know that the multiplication problem, the multiplication sentence is six times eight, and that gives us 48. So that means the area is 48 square centimeters. Here it says write a multiplication sentence and a division sentence to find the unknown side length for each rectangle. So what we can see is I'm looking here and we don't know how many tiles or squares are going up and down, but we do know that there's nine going across and we know that the area is 36 square centimeters. So that tells us our multiplication problem is going to have a 9 and a 36 right here. Now, we don't know what the height or this side length is, but we know the other side length, and that when you multiply these, you get 36. So that means the missing value is 4. Now, division, what we could have done for the division is we would write 36 because that's the area, divide by 9, because that's the side length we don't know, that we do know, and then the answer is 4, because that's the missing side length over here. And this question it says, on the grid below, draw a rectangle that has an area of 36 square centimeters, label the side lengths. So that means we know our rectangle is something by something and that has to have 32 square centimeters. So we don't know what the side lengths are, but we know that when we multiply them we should get 32. So can we think of two numbers that when we multiply them together we get 32? I could think of 4 times 8. So that tells me that our rectangle is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 centimeters tall and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 centimeters wide. And I'm going to label that 4 centimeters and 8 centimeters. And for the last slide of this video, we are told that Charles draws a rectangle with a side length of 9 inches and an area of 27 square inches. What is, what is the other side length, and how do we know? So we know that one of the side lengths is 9. And so I'm going to draw my rectangle, and it doesn't matter if if I don't draw it to the right ratio or the right proportion, it's okay. And it says Charles draws a rectangle with a side length of 9. So I'm going to put 9 right here, and I'm going to put a blank right here. All right. And we know that the area is supposed to be 27 square inches. Now what that tells us is it's the multiplication sentence would be 9 times something is equal to 27. Or, if we wanted to, we could write it as a division sentence. 27 divided by 9 equals blank. And in either both cases, we can see that the missing number is 3 because 9 times 3 is 27. So that means this missing label side length right here is 37. And that 
is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 8, where we are finally using that real standard algorithm of multiplication in order to find the area of rectangles.